In the Mafia world, friendships are crucial yet fragile, often tested by betrayal. I've curated gangster films where friendship is central, some ending in betrayal. Most revolve around two close friends, while others feature more. If you're into films about friendship, check out my video on great friends in westerns. Today, let's explore the bonds of friendship in gangster films. Number 1, Once Upon a Time in America, in this Sergio Leone's epic masterpiece, the core of the narrative pulsates with the unbreakable bond between David Noodles Aronson and Maximilian Max Berkovich, two streetwise youngsters navigating the treacherous landscape of 1920s Prohibition-era New York. From their humble beginnings as petty criminals to their ascension as powerful figures in the criminal underworld, their friendship serves as the film's beating heart. Their camaraderie is built on a foundation of trust, loyalty, and shared experiences, weathering the highs and lows of their tumultuous lives. As they confront love, betrayal, and the passage of time, their friendship remains a constant, a sanctuary amidst the chaos of their world. However, in a world where betrayal lurks around every corner, even the strongest bonds can be tested, and this film poignantly explores the complexities of friendship in the unforgiving realm of organized crime. Number 2, Gamara, in the gritty and uncompromising world of the Gamara TV series, the friendship between Ciro Di Marzio and Gennaro Savastano stands as a cornerstone amidst the ever-shifting tides of power and betrayal. From the outset, their bond is forged in the crucible of their shared upbringing in the crime-ridden streets of Naples. As they navigate the treacherous hierarchy of the Savastano clan, Ciro serves as Gennaro's trusted mentor and confidant, guiding him through the perilous intricacies of the criminal underworld. Their friendship is characterized by unwavering loyalty, mutual respect, and a deep-seated understanding of each other's strengths and weaknesses. Through countless trials and tribulations, including rivalries, betrayals, and personal losses, Ciro and Gennaro remain steadfast allies, their friendship serving as a beacon of solidarity in a world consumed by violence and deception. However, as the series unfolds, the specter of ambition and self-preservation looms large, threatening to fracture their bond and force them into impossible choices that could ultimately tear them apart. Number 3, The Godfather Trilogy, across Francis Ford Coppola's iconic The Godfather Trilogy, the enduring friendship between Michael Corleone and Tom Hagen serves as a linchpin amidst the tumultuous events that unfold within the Corleone crime family. From their early days as young men navigating the intricacies of organized crime to Michael's ascension as the reluctant heir to the family empire, their bond remains unshakable. Tom, the Corleone family's trusted consigliere, acts as Michael's confidant and advisor, offering wisdom and counsel in times of crisis. Their friendship is characterized by mutual respect, loyalty, and a shared understanding of the Machiavellian politics that govern their world. Yet, as the trilogy progresses and the Corleone family faces ever-increasing challenges, their friendship is tested by betrayals, power struggles, and the weight of their own choices. Despite the strains placed upon their relationship, Michael and Tom's enduring camaraderie stands as a testament to the resilience of friendship amidst the turbulent currents of the Mafia underworld. Number 4, Goodfellas, in Martin Scorsese's electrifying masterpiece, Goodfellas, the friendship between Henry Hill, portrayed by Ray Liotta, and Jimmy Conway, played by Robert De Niro, forms the backbone of the film's exploration into the inner workings of organized crime. From their early days as wide-eyed young hoodlums to their ascent as powerful figures in the mafia underworld, Henry and Jimmy share a bond forged in the crucible of their shared experiences. Their friendship is characterized by mutual trust, camaraderie, and a sense of brotherhood that transcends the boundaries of the law. As they navigate the treacherous terrain of the mafia lifestyle, their loyalty to each other is unwavering, serving as a source of strength and solidarity in the face of danger and betrayal. However, as the film unfolds and the pressures of their criminal enterprise mount, cracks begin to form in their friendship, leading to conflicts and ultimately tragic consequences. Number 5, Touche Pao Grisby, in Jacques Becker's classic French crime film, the friendship between Max and Riton serves as the emotional core of the story. As seasoned criminals who have spent their lives navigating the Parisian underworld, Max and Riton share a bond that transcends mere partnership, it is a deep and abiding friendship built on mutual respect, loyalty, and shared experiences. Their camaraderie is evident in their banter, their unwavering support for each other, and their willingness to risk everything to protect one another. 
However, as the pressures of their criminal endeavors mount and the specter of betrayal looms, their friendship is put to the ultimate test. In a world where trust is a rare commodity and loyalties are constantly shifting, Max and Riton's friendship stands as a beacon of stability amidst the chaos of the criminal underworld. Yet, as the film unfolds, the inevitability of betrayal threatens to shatter the bond that binds them together, forcing them to confront the fragility of their friendship in the face of greed, ambition, and the inexorable march of time. Number 6, Borsellino, in Jacques Duret's Borsellino, the friendship between Francois Capella and Rox Efredi is at the heart of the narrative. Their journey from petty criminals to influential figures in Marseille's underworld is defined by a deep bond built on respect, loyalty, and shared experiences. As they navigate the treacherous terrain of organized crime, their friendship serves as a source of strength amidst the challenges they face. However, as their criminal empire expands, tensions arise and the allure of power threatens to strain their relationship. The dynamic between Francois and Rock is a captivating exploration of friendship, loyalty, and the complexities of life in the criminal underworld. Number 7, Le Duxime Souffle, in Jean-Pierre Melville's film, Gustave Gouvminda epitomizes unwavering loyalty to his friends in the criminal underworld. Throughout the film, Gouvminda remains steadfast in his commitment to protecting his comrades, even at great personal risk. Despite facing pressure from law enforcement, Guminda refuses to cooperate or provide any information that could jeopardize his friend's safety. His loyalty is not just a trait, but a defining characteristic that shapes his actions and decisions until the film's gripping conclusion. Guminda's unwavering loyalty underscores the central theme of friendship and honor amidst the harsh realities of the criminal world, making Le Duxime Souffle a compelling exploration of camaraderie and sacrifice in the face of adversity. Number 8, The Irishman, in Martin Scorsese's epic crime saga, The Irishman, the friendship between Frank Sheeran and Russell Bufalino stands as a testament to the enduring bonds forged in the crucible of organized crime. From their initial meeting to Frank's rise as a trusted associate within the Bufalino crime family, their relationship is characterized by mutual respect, trust, and unwavering loyalty. Russell serves as a mentor and father figure to Frank, guiding him through the complexities of the underworld with wisdom and finesse. Their friendship is tested as they navigate the treacherous landscape of power struggles, betrayals, and the passage of time. Despite the challenges they face, Frank remains fiercely loyal to Russell, never wavering in his allegiance, even as the consequences of their actions come back to haunt them. Number 9, New World In Park Hoon-young's New World, the friendship between Lee Ja-sung and Jung Chung is a nuanced and pivotal aspect of the narrative. As Lee, an undercover police officer, immerses himself deeper into the clandestine workings of a formidable criminal syndicate, he forms an unexpected bond with Jung, a seasoned and influential member of the organization. Initially adversaries, their relationship undergoes a gradual transformation, characterized by moments of mutual understanding, respect, and even camaraderie amidst the shadows of their respective allegiances. Their friendship becomes a prism through which the complexities of loyalty, duty, and personal morality are explored, as they navigate a world rife with treachery, power struggles, and moral ambiguity. As the stakes escalate and the pressures mount, Lee and Jung find themselves increasingly entangled in a web of conflicting loyalties and moral dilemmas, challenging the very foundations of their friendship. Number 10, A Bronx Tale, in Robert De Niro's directorial debut, A Bronx Tale, the friendship between Calogero, C., Anello and Sonny Los Pacio serves as the emotional core of the film. Set against the backdrop of the Bronx in the 1960s, the story follows young Calogero as he navigates the challenges of growing up in a neighborhood divided by loyalties to the mob. Sonny, a local mob boss, takes a liking to Calogero and becomes a mentor figure to him, imparting wisdom and life lessons that shape the boy's worldview. Their friendship is built on a foundation of mutual respect, trust, and a shared sense of honor, transcending the boundaries of their respective roles in society. However, as Calogero grapples with the conflicting influences of his father, a hard-working bus driver, and Sonny, a charismatic and powerful figure in the criminal underworld, their friendship is put to the test.